comedian you guys will ever see. You are definitely yeah. the greatest comedian I watch. Thank you. Guaranteed. Yeah, you guys like jokes, right? I love jokes. <laughs> Do you like being disappointed? No. All right, then we're not going to get along. <laughs> I came all the way from Brantford to see you guys. Uh, I love being a comedian from Brantford because uh, jokes are a lot like people from Brantford. Uh, most of them are dirty, only half of them work. I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but that's true. Um, <laughs> I love coming to London too. I love being in London. You guys have some beautiful women here. Uh, obviously, they don't come to this bar, but I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just joking. You guys, you guys are all lovely. You guys are all lovely. Uh, you guys are the, some of the nicest people I've ever met. Uh, some guy, random dude, just so nice, he offered to kick my ass on the street. That was very nice. Uh, probably because I dress this way. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Brantford, but I'm like Dolce and Gabbana, and they're all like Ricky and Julian. Uh, so I don't really quite fit in. Um, I like to dress this way because I'm a very goofy looking dude, right? Like, I'm like 5'8", red hair, uh, bad skin. But, uh, you know, that's alright, I don't mind. At least I can dress it up a little nice, right? Uh, one of the weird things about being a short ginger weirdo is, like, <laughs> I've got, like, size 13 feet. And, like, extremely large hands. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, like, this extremely large hands. Hey ladies, you know what that means, right? It makes everything else look smaller. Which is great. Right, when I was 12 years old, my foot was 12 inches long. So like, we'd be playing soccer in gym class, and I'd be like, oh yeah, give me the ball, and I'd be like... Didn't quite work. But, uh... I think that's why I like small women, right? Like tiny, like Japanese women, like, uh... Because they're like, when they got those tiny little hands, it makes my dick look like a softball bat. And then it's like, yeah, that's not bad. Or any, anyone who's small, like midgets, uh, you know, just tiny people. Okay, I realized that last one made me sound a bit like a pedophile. Uh, but trust me, that's not where I'm going with this. I'm keeping off that list. If I go the rest of my life with not getting on that list, that's a good list, right? No, fuck it, right? Uh, I want to stay freelance as much as possible. Um, I was driving to a show on Saturday, and uh, I was with a group of people in the car, and uh, the one lady who's sitting beside me, random old dude riding past on a bike, she just sticks her finger right in front of my face and gives him the finger all the way around. I'm like, why are you just, why are you just flipping off some random old dude? She's like, no, you don't get it. That guy's a pervert. He used to stand in his doorway wearing, pa and wearing a, a bra and panties. You just stand there and let everyone look. And I'm like, why would you hate him for that? He's advertising that he's a pervert. Right, I'm okay with that. It's the guys that are hiding that are the problems, right? It, like, those guys are the issues. Like, when I grew up, there was a like pervert in my neighborhood. And we just knew, don't go to that house, right? Why would you bother? <laughs> Because he's standing in his doorway in a bra and panties. You know not to go there. <laughs> Halloween, skip that fucker. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, yeah, you, you guys got a you guys got a homeless uh, problem here in London? Yeah, yeah. yeah, is it a problem? You got buskers? Yeah. Too many. I fucking hate buskers. <laughs> hey, are you a busker? No one wanted to hear that. Why should I give you a dollar? It's like you know three power cords. I'm like, here's a tune. Fuck it. Uh, the real reason I hate buskers is because, as a comedian, I can't do that. I can't just stand up in front of the liquor store and make fun of people as they're walking in. I can't do that, right? I can't be like, uh, like, like hey, Pat, <laughs> going in the liquor store. Hey, you weird-looking motherfucker. What's going on? How about you, right? Talk to call. He wants a jacket back. <laughs> I was going to say something to Paul, but he obviously had to leave because he had to wake up early for the Denny's early bird breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> See, as a comedian, I can't do that. Like, I could say, like, hey, you say that you're from Columbia, right? How do you plan on getting to New York? You going to swim there? I'm biking. What's that? I can't hear. What? Oh, sorry, you can't hear me? He's biking. He's biking. Oh, there's God, who, Jesus back there? Say, so you only got two apostles tonight. Shut the fuck up. Don't <laughs> 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 joke down here. 
<laughs> and that's why I hate buskers. Put the money in the hat, bitches. These jokes ain't free. Okay, that's my set. Thank you very much. Woo! <laughs>